Hello students, so here we are with the lecture 5 of alcohol, phenol and ether. Preparation of phenol. So from chlorobenzene, how would you prepare phenol? That is Dow's process. So in this what happens, chlorobenzene is fused with NaOH. Temperature 623 Kelvin, 150 atmospheric pressure. You get sodium phenoxide. That means chlorine is replaced by ONA. O negative Na plus. So this is sodium phenoxide. This on hydrolysis with dilute HCl gives you phenol. Yeah. So in this what is happening? Chlorobenzene is fused with NaOH at high temperature and pressure. 623 Kelvin and 150 atmospheric pressure. You get sodium phenoxide. So benzene dig with O minus Na plus is sodium phenoxide. And this on hydrolysis with dilute HCl gives you phenol. So that is how from chlorobenzene through Dow's process you obtain phenol. Mechanism of Dow's process. Here chlorobenzene is a substrate. NaOH comes and reacts with it. Okay. NaOH dissociates to give you Na ions and OH ions. This OH ions approach the ring. They first approach the ortho position. On ortho position there is hydrogen attached to the carbon. So this hydrogen combines with OH and water is given out. So uh, this ortho position gets a negative charge. When all hydrogen ion is given out, the proton is given out, this gets a negative charge. Okay. So then what happens? So H and OH they combine to form water and water is given out and negative charge is created on the ortho position. Now this negative charge, the aromaticity of the ring gets disturbed. So this negative charge goes back on the ring. Uh, the negative charge, the electrons go on the and form a bond here and this chlorine leaves so because of the minus i effect of chlorine chlorine pulls the electron towards the cell as a result this negative charge electrons they come and form a bond here so because of this this chlorine leaves and this uh, negative charge comes and forms a uh, bond here so the uh, this compound intermediate is formed this intermediate is called benzene so there here you see a triple bond here on uh, one of the uh, bonds. That means one of the two carbon atoms, the first two carbon atoms are having triple bond and this is called benzene. Okay. Then OH again approaches the ring. When OH approaches the ring, what happens? This triple bond, one of the bonds by electrons, they move towards the uh, first carbon atom. So first carbon atom gets a negative charge. Here, there is a positive charge created and OH attaches itself here. Okay. So, when OH attaches itself here, this negative charge is still there on the first carbon. So, the bond between O and H breaks. H plus ion in the form of proton go and attaches itself on the first carbon atom which is carrying the negative charge. Okay. So, here on this ortho position, then you have O negative. So, still NaOH ions are there in the C group. So, this Na, Na reacts with O negative and forms a uh, sodium phenoxide. This sodium phenoxide on hydrolysis in presence of dilute HCl forms phenol. Clear? Yeah. So, first the substrate was chlorobenzene. On this NaOH attack it attaches, attacks on the substrate. NaOH dissociates to give you Na ions and OH ions. This OH ions pulls the hydrogen from the first ortho carbon, ortho position from the ortho position and this OH and H combine to form water. So water is given out and a negative charge is created on the ortho position. Now this chlorine shows a minus I effect. It pulls the electron towards itself. This negative charge electrons they come on the ring in the form of a bond. Chloride being a leaving group it leaves and benzene is formed. Then this benzene OH ions again attack on the benzene because it is an intermediate, it is unstable and the electrons are moved towards the first carbon and a positive uh, charge is created on the second carbon. So on second carbon OH attaches itself and a negative charge is created on the first carbon. Okay, now this OH bond cleaves because of the negative charge, this puts the electron towards itself, OH bond cleaves. This H plus is liberated. This H plus goes and joins the first carbon. Okay. So, uh, then this O negative is remaining here. 
and O negative combines with Na plus to form uh, benzene with O negative Na plus that is sodium phenoxide and this sodium phenoxide on hydrolysis with dilute HCl forms phenol. Clear? Okay. Now the next method of preparation is from cumin. What is cumin? Cumin is isopropyl benzene. Isopropyl benzene. So this is actually the commercial method of preparation of phenol. Now in this cumin is reacted with air. So oxygen of air combines with cumin to form cumin hydroperoxide. So this reaction is done in the presence of cobalt naphthenate and 423 Kelvin temperature. So between the carbon and hydrogen here of the isopropyl group, oh, oxygen gets incorporated. So you get cumin hydroperoxide. This cumin hydroperoxide in the presence of dilute SCL and heat gives phenol and acetone. So phenol is this bond cleaves here, acetone is formed and this OH attaches itself on the ring. So phenol is formed. So this is the preparation of phenol, industrial, commercial preparation of phenol, culpation method of preparation of phenol. Clear? So what is happening? Let's see again. This is cumin. Cumin is what? Isopropyl benzene. Yes, reacted with air in the presence of cobalt naphthenate, 423 Kelvin temperature. Then you get cumin hydroperoxide. The oxygen gets incorporated between carbon and hydrogen. Okay. And then this is hydrolyzed in the presence of dilute SCL. You get phenol and acetone. Yeah. Very important method. Now preparation of phenol from benzene sulfonic acid. So benzene with the sulfonic acid group is called benzene sulfonic acid. When this is reacted with NaOH, you get sodium benzene sulfonate. Salt is formed, sodium benzene sulfonate. When this sodium benzene sulfonate is fused with NaOH, 523 Kelvin, it forms sodium phenoxide and Na2SO3 is given out. And then this salt hydrolysis gives you phenol. Here, yeah. so basically it's a two-step reaction. Here you see first the sulfonic acid is forming, so benzene, sodium benzene sulfonate. Okay, this one fusing with NaOH forms sodium phenoxide. Na2SO3 is given out and sodium phenoxide is formed. Okay, and this one hydrolysis with dilute SCL gives you phenol. So that is how from benzene sulfonic acid you can prepare phenol. Then from aniline, how will you prepare phenol? So aniline is first you have to prepare benzene diazonium chloride. So how will you prepare benzene diazonium chloride? When aniline is reacted with NaNO2 and SCL at 0 degree centigrade, that is 273 Kelvin. This aniline combines with HNO2 and SCL and it forms benzene diazonium chloride. Benzene with Na N2 plus Cl minus. N2 is what? Diazonium. Benzene with Na2 plus is known as, uh, is known as diazonium. So benzene diazonium chloride is formed. This one hydrolysis and bomb, bombing. Uh, this one reaction with water, warm water gives you phenol and nitrogen is given out. Lab test of phenol, laboratory test of phenol. So litmus test. Here echo solutions of phenol turns blue litmus red. So if blue litmus solution is added in the echo solution of phenol, it gives a red color. So blue litmus turns red. Then phenol, if you do the reaction with uh, saturated sodium bicarbonate, there is no reaction. So this shows it is not strong acid. But when you react uh, phenol with NaOH, it gives salt and water. That means, of course, it is acidic in nature. So when you react phenol with NaOH, this ONH bond cleaves. So H combines with OH to form water and the remaining part forms sodium uh, phenoxide which is a salt. This sodium phenoxide when reacted back with SCL gives you phenol and NaCl. So this shows it is phenolic in nature. Then when you do the uh, phenol, when you uh, take the echo solution of phenol, the ionization takes place. Phenol plus H2O gives you phenoxide ion plus hydronium ion. So this phenol is an acid. It gives out its proton. This proton combines with water to form hydronium ion and phenoxide ion in this form. So according to the laurie bronsted theory, this phenol is an acid, reacts with base and it forms conjugate base and the uh, base forms conjugate acid. So it is uh, 
donation of proton and accepting the proton. So basically in this what is happening? H plus is given out. So this is acid and this forms conjugate pair, base. And this water is a base. It accepts proton and it forms hydronium ion which is a conjugate acid. So the conjugate acid base thing. Now this so this phenoxide ion is a conjugate base and it is resonance uh, stabilized by delocalization of the negative charge. So here you see this is a phenoxide ion, oxygen with three pairs, three lone pairs of electrons and a negative charge. This negative electrons pairs move towards the ring. This double bond is formed and this double bond uh, shifts towards the, these electrons shift towards the first position. So negative charge is formed here. Then this negative charge forms a double bond. And this double bond forms a negative charge. Again, negative charge forms a double bond and double bond forms a negative charge. And then again, negative charge goes back. Uh, th this negative charge forms a double bond and this double bond goes back and forms the electron. So that is how the delocalization of negative charge takes place. And therefore, phenol ionizes in aqueous medium and thereby shows a weak acidic character. So because phenoxide ion form is a conjugate base, and it is stabilized by resonance, therefore it is acidic in nature. So esterification. So alcohol and phenols form esters by reaction with carboxylic acid, acid chloride or acid anhydride. So reaction between uh, phenol with carboxylic acid to form an ester is called esterification. So basically esterification of alcohol or phenol is carried out in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid. The reaction is reversible and it can be shifted in the forward direction by the removal of water. So phenol when reacted with carboxylic acid in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid, it forms ester plus water. Okay. Then phenol when reacted with acid anhydride, then on the presence of formed sulfuric acid, that also it forms ester and it forms carboxylic acid. Okay, so this ONH bond cleaves and this H combines with RCOO group to form carboxylic acid and the remaining part forms the ester. Then phenol is reacted with uh, acid chloride in the presence of pyridine. It forms ester plus SCA. Okay, first two reactions are reversible reactions but the reaction with acid chloride and pyridine is not reversible because here SCL is formed and this reaction is done in the presence of pyridine. And this pyridine combines with SCL to form pyridine hydrochloride. So the forward rea reaction is, reaction in the forward direction is facilitated. Clear? So this is esterification. Now reaction of phenol. Reactions of phenol. First one is halogenation. So as we all know the reaction of halogenation is what reaction with halogens. Chlorine, bromine, iodine. So when phenols reacts with bromine water, it forms 246-tribromophenol. So when it is bromine water, it forms tribromophenol. There, bromine gets attached on the ortho and para positions to so 246-tribromophenol. But when bromine, phenol reacts with bromine in the presence of CS2, carbon tetrachloride or chloroform at low temperature, then either orthobromophenol is formed or parabromophenol is formed or both of them are formed. So orthobromophenol, parabromophenol both are formed and which one is in the major quantity? Parabromophenol is major. Why it is major? Because it is more stable, it is symmetrical, it is it has less steric hindrance. So the major product is parabromophenol. Okay, clear? Then let's come to the next reaction, nitration of phenol. Phenol reacts with dilute nitric acid to form orthonitrophenol, paranitrophenol. Now these are uh, halogenation, nitration and sulfonation. These all three reactions are electrophilic substitution reaction. So basically the reagent that we add produces the electrophile and the electrophile gets substituted on ortho and para position because density of electrons is more on ortho and para positions as OH group that is attached to benzene ring in phenol is shows plus R effect. So because of the plus R effect, the electron density on ortho and para position increases 
and the electrophile can easily attach on ortho and para position so in this uh, reaction with nitric acid uh, the uh, the electrophile is what no2 plus so this no2 plus attaches itself on the ortho position and the para position so ortho nitrophenol is formed and the para nitrophenol is formed okay yeah. then phenol reacts with concentrated nitric acid to form in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid to form picric acid picric acid okay so 246 tri nitrophenol is called picric acid clear yeah. so when orthophenol reacts with dilute nitric acid at low temperature then what is formed ortho nitrophenol and para nitrophenol are formed but when phenol reacts with concentrated nitric acid in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid the uh, tri nitrophenol that is picric acid is formed clear yeah. then reaction with sulfuric acid when uh, phenol reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid then the product form is ortho phenol sulfonic acid and para phenol sulfonic acid so phenol different products are formed at different temperature so when phenol reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid at 293 kelvin the product form is ortho phenol sulfonic acid but at high temperature 373 kelvin the product form is para phenol sulfonic acid clear yeah. in this what is which is the electrophile so3 h plus is the electrophile okay so3h plus is the electrophile okay while in the case of nitration the electrophile was what electrophile was no2 plus in bromination electrophile is br plus bromine cleaves heterolytically and br plus and br minus is formed br plus attaches on the ring okay so this is these three are electrophilic substitution reactions then rima timing reaction a very important reaction when phenol reacts with chloroform and aqueous noh then the product form is salicylaldehyde this reaction takes place in two steps first the intermediate is formed so in the intermediate what happens see here phenoxide ion is formed first this reacts with na to form na plus o minus na plus and then this chloroform the electrophile attaches itself on the ortho position chcl2 is attaches itself on the uh, on the ring clear then this reacts with another molecule of noh and the chcl2 gets hydrolyzed ch oh voltoise is formed and that loses water and forms cho then ona cho and this on hydrolysis Uh, with in the presence of acid gives you salicylaldehyde so let's see it again phenol when reacts with chloroform and aqueous noh first this intermediate is formed o minus na plus and chcl2 this chcl2 is electrophile attaches itself on the benzene ring then this reacts further with noh this chlorine group gets hydrolyzed and cl2 is replaced with oh oh hold twice so o two oh cannot uh, be available on one carbon small carbon so it loses water and it forms cho so o n a c h o then this on hydrolysis in the presence of acid gives you salicylaldehyde so basically what is formed in this salicylaldehyde phenol is getting converted to salicylaldehyde so when phenol is treated with chloroform in aqueous noh followed by hydrolysis with acid salicylaldehyde is formed and this reaction is dimer tyman reaction clear kolb reaction the treatment of sodium phenoxide with carbon dioxide at 398 kelvin temperature six atmospheric pressure which leads to the formation of sodium salicylate which on acid hydrolysis forms ortho hydroxy benzoic acid also known as salicylic acid so basically what is happening sodium phenoxide is reacted with carbon dioxide temperature is 398 kelvin six atmospheric pressure then first sodium salicylate is formed okay then this sodium salicylate undergoes acid hydrolysis and forms ortho hydroxy benzoic acid also known as salicylic acid oxidation of phenol phenol on oxidation in the presence of chromic anhydride or chromium oxide Or sodium di dichromate and H two S four 
any one of the oxidizing agent can be taken this oxidizes to form para benzoquinone so just see the structure of para benzoquinone there is a double bond o on the 1 and 4 position and there are alternate double bonds present then catalytic hydrogenation of phenol so phenol vapors and hydrogen vapors are passed over nickel catalyst in the presence of at temperature 433 kelvin you get cyclohexanol okay so unsaturated phenol gets converted to saturated cyclohexanol clear then reduction of phenol phenol gets reduced in the presence of zinc when you heat it with zinc powder zinc dust then you get benzene and zinc oxide is formed as the byproduct clear then uses of phenol phenol is used in the preparation of phenol formaldehyde resin bakelite phenol is used as an antiseptic the in common products like air fresheners deodorants calamine lotions pore cleaners etc then characteristic test of phenol very important test to this so when phenol is treated with neutral ferric chloride a violet color purple violet green coloration is obtained that is of ferric phenoxide plus 3 scl so in a test tube if phenol is given to you take phenol add neutral ferric chloride solution to it it gives you deep purple or violet or green coloration and that colorations are of ferric phenoxide so here you can see the reaction phenol when reacted with neutral ferric chloride gives you deep color solution and plus scl is formed so this is the identification test for phenol okay now physical properties of phenols so nature of intermolecular forces alcohols and phenols both are polar molecules due to oh bond and therefore there is what hydrogen bonding present in it and because of hydrogen bonding it shows high boiling point so here you see the structure of phenol and alcohol so in alcohol h o r o is delta negative o is electronegative and therefore it gets a delta negative charge h gets a delta positive charge between of o of one alcohol and hydrogen of another alcohol molecule there is a hydrogen bond so there is intermolecular hydrogen bonding similarly in phenol also phenol oh so o gets a delta negative charge h gets a delta positive charge so between the molecules of phenol between the o oxygen of phenol of one molecule of phenol and the hydrogen of another molecule of phenol there is a hydrogen bonding present so there are strong intermolecular forces present in these polar molecules physical state lower alcohols are colorless toxic liquids they have alcoholic special typical alcoholic odor and the pure phenols are also colorless but of course on oxidation it becomes pink in color so they are colorless they are toxic they are low melting solids having a typical phenolic odor or carbolic odor phenols are also known as carbolic acid then boiling point so the boiling point of phenols and alcohols increases with increase in their molecular mass but of course if it is a 1 degree alcohol 2 degree alcohol and 3 degree alcohol amongst them which will have a high boiling point the 1 degree will have the maximum boiling point then 2 degree and 2 to then 3 degree because of steric hindrance the forces intermolecular forces are weak there van der waals forces of attraction decreases with the branching increases then solubility okay now when there is hydrogen bonding they will be soluble in water so phenols and lower alcohols they show appreciable solubility in water because of hydrogen bonding intermolecular hydrogen bonding so here you see there is a molecule of alcohol delta negative charge on oxygen delta positive charge on hydrogen so this attracts the molecule of water in water also there is delta negative charge on oxygen and delta positive charge on hydrogen so in between the molecules of alcohol and water there is hydrogen bonding so they are soluble in water similarly the phenols also between h uh, h of phenol and oxygen of water there is a hydrogen bonding so because of intermolecular hydrogen bonding alcohol and phenols they will be soluble in water okay thank you